Okay, welcome to this short video on using the WP Touch plugin as it integrates with the um, WP Local Biz theme. And what we've done as of the uh, current version of the theme, WP Local Biz 1.61, we've created a custom themes folder for the WP Touch plugin. The reason we've done that is some of the upgraded features that we've put in, like the um, uh, automatic um, mobile button creator and the um, short code for the uh, uh, GMAPS embed um, don't show up in the WP Touch plugin. You just see a bunch of uh, raw uh, short code there. So we had to change a few things. And uh, this is basically how you go about making your WP Local Biz sites mobilize, if you like, or mobile ready with all the features that we've got in WP Local Biz. And um, if uh, you haven't got to WP Touch installed, as I have not on this uh, um, site for demonstration purposes, just go to Plugins, Add New, click Add New, and uh, the little search box will show up saying Turn, leave it at Turn, and we just, we're just we looking for WP Touch, so put that in Search Plugins. The first one that shows up will be WP Touch version 1.9.38. Yeah, that's it by Brave New Code. Okay, we don't need the details. We want to install that. Yes, we're sure we want to install that. So we go ahead and install it. And OK, activate plugin, and it is installed. Okay, so um, now it's installed, but we need to overwrite the default themes uh, file for uh, the plugin. But just before I do that, I, I'm going to show you um, a page I've prepared here. It's a, it's a kind of a little bit of a nonsensical page, but it's got all the basic new features in. We've got the uh, coupon, I beg your pardon, the um, automatic mobile buttons that, uh, that we've created here with the, um, the new feature in the uh, theme. And there's the, the Google Maps embed as well. This is all off-center because it's, it's meant to show up for a mobile site. And the little uh, search uh, form as well, which is put in by shortcode. Um, there's actually one other thing that we can put in there, which is the H card, but I won't put that in for the time being. And um, what, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and have a look at this, how it would look in a mobile site. So I'm using uh, Apple Safari browser, and, and if you go to the top here, which you can't see on this particular uh, video, but you go to the tabs at the top and you click on the develop and user agent pops up, and you come down here and you, you click on, um, oh, where are we, iPhone 4.3. That's it. Okay, so we've, it's now showing us what it would look like in iPhone. Okay, and uh, if I just basically minimize this so it looks like an iPhone kind of um, you know size, that's what you see. Uh, where have those buttons gone? They've disappeared. We're just seeing the short code, and again, we're just seeing the short code and the search form, the short code for the search form, because the plugin will not pick it up. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go and overlay the um, the theme file uh, for the default theme file for the WP Touch plugin. Now, how do we do that? Where do we get the file from? Well, if you go to the WP Local Biz member download page and you scroll down, you'll see here WP Touch Plugin Theme Default File. It tells you a little bit about it there, but you click on that, download that to your desktop. Okay, so I've already done that. And um, what we're going to do is go back to, uh, now what we're going to do is go to uh, C Panel. Okay, you can use FTP, but you either need FTP or cPanel. And you go to your WP content uh, folder, and inside there's the plugins, of course. So we double click that and we open that up and we go down and we'll find WP Touch that we just installed. Okay, so we open that up, you open up WP Touch, and you'll see a bunch of folders here. And down the bottom it says themes. Okay, so we open that up. Where it says default, we're going to replace that. Okay. So we're going to click on this one and just delete it. It's going to say, do you want to delete it? Yeah, we, we, we want to delete it. Okay, so it's gone now. We need to upload the new one. So what we do is we upload that from the where we downloaded it before. Okay, so downloads, where are we? Default, there it is, that one there. Okay, and upload. It's starting the upload now. Should take 
There's quite a few files in it, but um, it should take anywhere from 15 seconds to you know 30 seconds. Okay, it's done. What about 10 seconds, something like that? Okay, so that one's done, and uh, what we can do now is go back and check. Okay, if we refresh here, okay, reload, we should have default zip. Okay, we need to open that up. So you just click on that and click extract, and that will extract the uh, the folder for you. Okay, so we've extracted. We'll reload again. Okay, there it is. Okay, there we def we we erase the old one. There's the new one. You can leave that in there, but we don't really need it. That's just basically the container from from before. Okay, so that's the new default uh, folder that we've just uploaded. So that's in there. Now let's go and see. We'll refresh this mobile page here in uh, Safari iPhone uh, view and see what happens. So we just refresh, and if this has worked, our buttons and everything should should show up again. Yep. There it all is. Okay, so we've got the sitemap and the about us coupon offers, then we've got the sitemap and see how this is all nicely centered exactly the way it's meant to be, and we've got the search uh, form there as well as uh, as it was meant to be. So that's it, folks. That's basically how you um, uh, install WP Touch plugin, the open source one, the free one that's available from the WordPress library. And then um, you just download the default um, folder that we've got on the members download page and upload it either via FTP or via cPanel to your um, uh, plugin uh, WP Touch plugin to the themes uh, folder and replace the um, uh, existing default folder with the new one and unpack it and you are good to go and it uh, doesn't matter how often they update uh, WP Touch which they update quite often um, this uh, new theme will work with it and uh, if we find a version that doesn't we'll quickly change that and that's basically how you do it and I'll show you some very neat things we can do with these new mobile features later on but for the time being just wanted to show you how to get the whole thing rolling so I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one thanks bye now